I do this because I believe that it's incredibly important to link service and charity to your faith. I travel with the Hope for Under and Children Foundation, uh, started by Karen and John Gott in about uh, 2005, I believe. When I found out that Brandon was a Mormon, I was a little intrigued because I'm Roman Catholic. But Brandon's faith is what Brandon's all about. In eighth grade, Karen came to our school during the spring. Brandon was in the audience, and I was appealing to them to help me support the boys of Flora Soul. She gave us a, a speech and showed us a slideshow of what she does down here. The mission statement is to help uh, these orphanage projects. Life has dealt them these terrible things. And it, it really just struck me and, you know, something said, you need to go talk to her. This is something you have to do. And honestly, you know, when I, I got that prompting, I actually d uh, denied it at first, and I, and I was like, you know what, there are lots of people who go out and do that stuff. Why would I make a difference? I'm 14 years old. I, I actually got up and started to walk out of the room, and I, again, the, the feeling came over that I just had, I had to talk to this woman. Brandon, at the end of the presentation, stood up and said, hey guys, we can't let this go. Brandon understands that the major thing that we need is economic resources. So he goes home and raises funds for us consistently. It's gone on for five years, and he raises several thousand dollars a year. If you have a good balance of faith and service in your life, I think you can really have a phenomenal experience of just living. He's become like a partner in this entire project. And he changed life for boys here. We have several projects. Um, we have about four or five schools that we're responsible for. Um, Florizil Village. Um, this is Florizil Farm here that we're sitting at. There's a lot of projects and a lot of things to be done. We're always busy and always trying to think of new ways to introduce something into their lives, like the tilapia ponds, to give protein in their diet so that they're not malnourished. Giving them hope for the future, giving them tangible things that they can use to improve their lives, I think that's what's incredibly satisfying about it. Christ truly set the example for service. Everything he did, to me, translates as acts of service. Everywhere he went, he healed the sick, he helped the impoverished. For us, if we truly want to walk in the footsteps of Christ, doing work such as this or service work, and it doesn't have to be going to a third world country and helping orphans, it can be anything. I think it's very interesting when resources just come. I've traveled 10, 11 times out of country in the past four years. And my parents are not capable of that kind of resources. But every time I told them, I'm going to Honduras and we're gonna figure this out, I find a way to finance a trip. The money always just happens to be there. If Christ set the example, there's no reason why he would not help you do what he wants you to do. Christ gave all of us a light and Brandon has magnified that light. And the flame never goes out. He magnifies it and passes it on to other people. It's the light of Christ that keeps him going. And in sharing it with other people, that flame just gets bigger. <laughs>